going on guys, Moxification here, so today uh, I'm going to show you guys how to update to the latest dashboard, so the current dashboard that my dashboard is on is uh, actually, hold on let me find it out, but the current dashboard that I'm on right now on my JTAG is 17349, and the dashboard that we're going to be going to is 17489, so uh, yeah, so to start off what you want to do is you want to download the stuff in the description, you're going to get Flash 360 and XE Build. Um, so uh, yeah, so to start off, uh, you're gonna get Flash 360, and you're gonna put Flash 360 on a USB. So uh, I'm gonna put my USB stick in now, uh, in the computer. Uh, they go open, and as you can see, I've already got a folder with Flash 360 on it. So basically, you just want to get Flash 360, put that on your USB stick, and then you're basically done here. Uh, and then we're gonna go over to the Xbox. So I'll see you on the Xbox. Alright, so now you're on your Xbox, uh, what you want to do is you want to load up XCX menu and you want to put your USB stick that has uh, Flash 360 on it uh, in the uh, in the Xbox, uh, in the JTAG or RGH. Uh, and then, uh, you want to basically uh, go on Flash 360, go into the folder on your USB and you want to hit the XCX, you want to load up the XCX. Uh, then, you want to do, right, uh, uh, where is it, backup command file so that's x press x to do that then press a to save into an anti file and then it goes through a load of checks and stuff and it does a load of things and it, sh it doesn't take too long to do it depending uh, depending on if you've got a big block a uh, big block nand um or um use 16 mb1 uh, and i've got a 16 mb1 so it only takes a few seconds and then once it's done it goes up to 100 percent then you just press back button to return to main menu and then back button to exit out the application so uh, that will take you back to the dashboard. So uh, from here, uh, we'll go back over to the computer. So I'll see you on the computer. Alright, so now you're back over on the computer. Uh, all you want to do is get your USB out of your console and put that back in your computer. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, there you go. Now it's in, I think. Oh wait, I need to unplug it. The, my USB stick's a bit weird. It, uh it sometimes sort of it thinks it's there and it doesn't think it's there and it's really strange but yeah so now you know you've got flash 360 but now there's going to be an extra file in there and that's your flash dmp uh, dot bin so that's like your nand so what you're going to do is what i recommend doing just in case anything were to go wrong you should make a backup of this file just in case so what i normally do is i make a folder on my desktop called backup uh there you go i'll just move it up there so you can see it and then I'll just put that in there, and then you've got a backup of the NAND, just in case anything were to go wrong. Because sometimes, you know, dashboard updates mess up, and it goes wrong, and sometimes you're just left not knowing what to do. And that's a really helpful thing to have if you do mess up. So, uh, yeah, so once you've got that, uh, you're just going to get, you know, the flash dump I put on your desktop anyway. So you've got two. You've got this one, and you've got this one. So the backup is the backup, and then this is, like, the one that you're going to be... Uh, changing and doing stuff with. So next, uh, you want to open up XE Build uh, GUI. I'll give a download link for um, these files, and then you just want to run the program and run, and then it opens, and you can you can exit out of that if you want to do, which I normally do. So uh, next, uh, you want to go to Source File. You don't want to go to File. File is not a thing you want to do when you open something uh, in uh, XE Build. You want to do Open, and then Find the file. Find this file. So if you don't know where it is, if you put it on your desktop, it's not hard to find. You know, just go desktop, and then you could just type in flashdmp.bin. I think it's already there. Yeah, it is. So it's already there. But then that's the one there. That's the file right there. So then you're going to click open, and then that's going to load up a load of things. It's going to, it should be, if it's all good, it should be all ticks apart from one, apart from the CPU key. And to find, you just got to find your CPU key. So my CPU key, I always have on my computer. So CPU... And Jasper RGH, no, uh, Jasper RJ tag CPU key. Uh, so that's my CPU key. Uh, and then you just want to paste it in where it says the CPU key. It says, you know, it gives you all your console info. Don't change any of the other stuff. All you want to do is change the CPU key. Now, uh, basically, nearly the final step. Uh, you want to make sure that it's on the lowest, well, not the lowest, the highest dashboard kernel. So that right now is 17489. Um, and that's the one you want to stick it on. It should already be on it, but just in case it's not, make sure that it's on that. So, uh, yeah, and then, yeah, that's it really. 
So next, uh, you just want to do generate hacked image. Uh, make sure everything's ticked and everything, and include dash launch and all of these things, and then do generate hacked image. And then that goes through a load of steps, and it builds the image. And then, as you can see, it's on my desktop there. And then I'm just gonna click. Uh, what does it say? Uh, do you want to close the program? Yes. So, program's closed. And as you can see, I've got the file there. So, what you want to do with this file is stick that back on your USB stick. So, is that this? Nope, that's not the one. Where is it? Computer, USB, flash 360, and you want to put the UPD flash dot bin on in that folder in the flash 360 folder. So once that's in there, uh, we're gonna go back over to the Xbox 360 console. So I'll see you on the uh, JTAG. All right, so now you're back over on the console. Uh, you want to get your USB stick back out of the uh, back out of the computer and put that back in the uh, the JTAG or IGH and then uh, I'm just going to make sure that it is um, in the storage because my USB is a bit dodgy and it doesn't show up on the Xbox but yeah as you can see it is in the console so that's all good uh, but you guys don't need to do that I'm just going to go into uh, XEX menu which is there XEX menu 1.1 and we'll wait for that to load up and then uh, well, what you want to do is this is uh, you need to do this step. You 100% need to do it. So all you want to do is you want to copy Flash 360, and you want to paste it on like your hard drive, your main hard drive. You want to paste it in the root. Well, you could do it anywhere really, but you want to paste it in the root of your hard drive basically. So make sure you do that step. Make sure it's from the USB and on the main hard drive. So it's not on the USB. Well, it is on the USB, but it's also on the you know the root of your hard drive. So once it's on the root of your hard drive, you're just going to go onto Flash 360 on the root of your hard drive, and then you're going to launch up Flash360.xex. And then, uh, so right now, you know, you've got three options again. You know, you can do uh, button A, button B, or button X. We've already done button X. You don't need to do button B. You just need to do uh, press button A to write uh, update flash dot bin to NAND. So, uh, A. Then you can do any one of these. I don't have a KV on my NAND or anything, so I'm just going to press A. Uh, then button A to reset uh, or start button to ignore and continue. So start button. And then finally, uh, A button to begin or any other button to return to the main menu. So button A. Uh, so uh, then that goes for its checks again. It does its uh, writing block and it writes the blocks all the way from like 0 up to basically like hundred basically but it's not one hundred uh, and then press any button to continue and then back button to return to main menu and then back button to shut down and then that goes from five four three two one and uh, all right so now um, you don't need to come back on the PC I'm just recording because you need to hear what I'm gonna say so um, what you need to do is once your console resets and it goes from five four three two one to zero you need to unplug the power brick from your console so just Go to the back of the console and unplug it, and then just unplug it for like, you could do it for 10 seconds, just unplug it, make sure that there's no power going to the console, and then that's going to reset everything about the console, that's going to reset the, the time and date and all that stuff, uh, but uh, yeah, so make sure you do that, and then I'll see you back on the console when it starts to boot up again, uh, so uh, yeah, see you back on the console. Alright, so now uh, we're back on the console, and I just took out my power brick and plugged it back in. Uh, so now, uh, it booted fine, everything was good. Um, and then we need to go on to the settings to check the uh, the console settings. And as you can see, we're on the latest update on the JTAG. Um, so uh, yeah, the latest update is 17489. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like I said, downloads will be in the description. And... Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys for the notification, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, goodbye.